Assalamu alaikum. My name is Chris Stevens, and I'm the new U.S. Ambassador to Libya. I had the honor to serve as the U.S. envoy to the Libyan opposition during the revolution, and I was thrilled to watch the Libyan people stand up and demand their rights. Now I'm excited to return to Libya to continue the great work we've started, building a solid partnership between the United States and Libya to help you, the Libyan people, achieve your goals. Right now, I'm in Washington, preparing for my assignment. As I walk around the monuments and memorials commemorating the courageous men and women who made America what it is, I'm reminded that we, too, went through challenging periods. When America was divided by a bitter civil war 150 years ago, President Abraham Lincoln had the vision and the courage to pull the nation together and help us move forward toward a shared goal of peace and prosperity. Growing up in California, I didn't know much about the Arab world. Then, after graduating from the University of California at Berkeley, I traveled to North Africa as a Peace Corps volunteer. I worked as an English teacher in a town in the High Atlas Mountains in Morocco for two years and quickly grew to love this part of the world. Since joining the Foreign Service, I've spent almost my entire career in the Middle East and North Africa. One of the things that impressed me when I was last in Libya was listening to stories from the people who are old enough to have traveled and studied in the United States back when we had closer relations. Those days are back. We had 1,700 Libyans apply for Fulbright grants to study in the United States this year, more than any country in the world. Now, we know that Libya is still recovering from an intense period of conflict, and there are many courageous Libyans who bear the scars of that battle. We're happy that we've been able to treat some of your war wounded at U.S. hospitals. We look forward to building partnerships between American and Libyan hospitals to help return Libya's health care system to the extraordinary standards of excellence it once enjoyed. Over my shoulder here, you can see the U.S. Capitol building. In that building, 535 elected representatives from every corner of America come together to debate the issues of the day. They are men and women from every religious, ethnic, and family background. I look forward to watching Libya develop equally strong institutions of government. Education and healthcare are just two of the many areas where I see opportunities for close partnership between the United States and Libya. I look forward to exploring those possibilities with you as we work together to build a free, democratic, prosperous Libya. See you soon.